Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Plus Galio's ult. Instead of taking something like a Lulu, which will give you time and will be able to help your Jarvan engage, something like a Leona can actually really help peel against this type of very yeah, looks like, up. yeah, Fred Breon is on the move. As, uh, okay. Do you have the smite going actually to Umpty there as the engage will come in. Umpty does get knocked up, but the exhaust timing is perfect. It's not going to matter, though, as Bertle gets here first. Delight was uh, somewhere <laughs> knocked up into outer space, it looked like. As we did have Canyon and Showmaker going down after Bertle, not able to follow. In a lot of these fights. And obviously, the longer the fight goes, the better for Fred Freon. That's the idea here, as they will get a second drink. So first drake, we were like solo drake, not a big deal necessarily. They have this area controlled completely. So there's just no real entry point here for Fred Freon. Uh-oh, and Upti's gonna bite the bait as the engage comes in. Way too much damage, big cast, nice stopwatch, but now, with the low health bar on Kellen, Henna is just frontlining here with Morgan leading the charge as well. Canyon not able to get out of here, no flash available, and a triple kill is handed over to Henna on the Abelios team. Uh, before she has Zonia's is that stopwatch. Uh -oh. oh man, doesn't look like Lava knew he was coming, but he actually gets stunned up, not gonna matter as Bertle extends the scissor leg, gets in there, gets the kill, and that's gonna be a lot of gold into their pockets. Rift Herald as well, and Dalmakia, they're coming back. Yeah, maybe the uh, seatbelt wasn't clicked too tight. Scaling up very nicely, you could say. Went for the Lich Bane second as well. Yeah, he's, he's really trying to hit, uh, hold that thought, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan in a little bit of trouble here. He's quite tanky, and the cast does a lot, but oh man, he's actually maybe going to survive there, but not quite as bro hey, say, okay, let's we'll take a Baron. Baron. Yep. We'll take a Baron for that one 100% if you can get it. Now, Kellen is nearby. They do have Showmaker's ult. This might be too much, Fred Brion. I don't know. I mean, there's teleport available for Bertle, but they're not really going for it. And Dalmonkia say, okay, take it. Flash, hook, not going to happen. Finally, the teleport does come in. Maybe a little bit too little, too late. As Bertle's like, nope. That hook shot. Never mind. That hook shot there is like the quintessential, like, picturesque moment, the personification of that situation for Dom Wanky. Like, can we contest this? Can we contest this? Nope. I actually do. Uh, so a lot of money given over to Canyon on the bottom side of the map, and that is where you want your money to be funneled right now because the Phantom Dancer is already ready here for Doc Dom. He's hit two items. One of the fastest souls we've seen so far this season, though, on this Cloud Soul in two minutes. Yeah, a pretty free Cloud Soul at that, uh, alongside of their free Baron. Just feels like Dom and Kia have not been as good at punishing uh, macro plays so far this season. As now, they, it's, it's just all about bullying Morgan, I guess. Is this really fair? I mean, five against one? Really? Domlin, though, I mean, it's a great play. They're just kind of calling the bluff of the Baron's split push, and they're continuing. Now, this is going to lead to an inhibitor for sure. There's no way that they can match this, unfortunately, as Fred Breon. The problem, too, is that they didn't split the backs outside of Lava here, who will actually finish his back if they split right now. Like, in. Lava is going to be bursting people down, so you have hard engage, but if Lava survives and you don't get him in the engage, you're probably gonna die. Yeah, that's the victor aspect of how this comp is gonna work, as Canyon is trying super hard for a flank. All right, Bertle is in there, and they're getting on top of Henna, but again, Lava is totally fine. Lots of room for Lava and Henna once again. Canyon gets the follow-up engage, though, as the light gets pretty low, and the damage isn't really coming out here for the side of Bert and Breon, even with their carry staying alive, as Duck Dom is gonna flash forward and begin to execute a lot of these members. Canyon takes down that strong victor, and it is an ace. Dom one will go for the end. Yeah. Very, very much an anticlimactic end to this game, but it was such a beautiful team fight for Dom Juan Kia. The flank there from Camille comes in, has his stopwatch, buys it right before this critical moment. He can buy infinity amount of time essentially there on the other side for Canyon to get the perfect follow-up set. They split the team in half with that pincer play. And it's a winning move here. Rough start for Dom Juan Kia at the beginning of this game, but the finish is strong. They get the win in the end. As we say, a win is a win, a W is a W. They get it done. Even though, as you mentioned, it was, it was not.